Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello, good evening. How are you, Guadalupe? I'm fine, teacher. And you? I am doing great. Very happy to be here with all of you. Well, with you right now, because you are the first one. <laughs> yeah. Is that is that a rooster? No. <laughs> it sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> no, teacher. It's a cisterna, bomba, bomba de agua. Oh, okay. It's a water bomb. A water bomb. A water pump. bomb. A water it, bomb. Yeah. It is a pump. Water pump. Ah, oh, okay. Water pump. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah, it sounds like a rooster, believe yes. me. Yes. I, I, I thought it was a rooster. Is that a rooster? <laughs> oh, okay. So that's yeah. new for me. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it is the first time that I listen to that that specific noise from, from a water pump. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, it, it's a... It's, uh... Uh, the, uh, it's it's big the 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 motor. Oh, so that's why. Yeah. So you have a lot of issues with the water there where you live. Uh, yes. Uh, in the neighborhood, all houses uh, have has uh, no have. All of them have the water all system. All of them have yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, because, uh, well, at least here in, in San Salvador, it's not that difficult, right, to have uh, issues with the water, but there are many different places on which they almost never have water. <laughs> in Ilopango, uh, water, uh, guy, pumps, pumps, uh, three times in the week. Oh, really? My God, and you have to be chasing. Ah. <laughs> You have to be chasing the day, or do you have a specific days? Um, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. Okay, well, that's that's good that because at least you know what days do you have it. Because in some yes. cases, you never know even what day is going to appear, and you are like maybe today, maybe tomorrow, maybe the other day. <laughs> so <Yeah. laughs> it is pretty complicated to to be chasing water. Yes. So, but at, at least you know, right? You know which days do you have, which days you don't have, and that's like, that's it. Yeah. Hello, Tati. How are you? Hi, I'm fine. Excellent. It's a pleasure to see you. Hello, Wendy. Welcome. Good night. <laughs> Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, Eric. Good evening. Welcome. Good evening. Thank you. How are you today? I am doing good. Very happy to see all of you. Well, to listen to you because I cannot see you. <laughs> and for sure, right, ready, ready for another day and another opportunity of learning. Hello, Jorge. Welcome. It's a pleasure to have you here. And we're going to start. Well, yesterday we were talking about what? Can you tell me a little bit of what we did yesterday? Yo no me acuerdo con quiénes estaba. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Al verles la carita, sí, pero así no. Right now, no, right. I, I think we are going to. I think it's it's here. Let me check. Quiero ver. No. Okay, let me see if I have it. Let's see. I don't think it's uh, it is saved. Yesterday I saved it, but I think it's it doesn't work like that. Well, hopefully it's going to work when all of you are connected. So welcome to all the ones that are here with me. So we're going to start. Yesterday we were talking about the places in town, right? And we were talking about how to give a specific information about where a place is located, right? And we were practicing with the different maps. We were practicing with this map and we were also practicing with this other city, right? We have two cities yesterday to practice, right? And we were using different prepositions of place. Can you remember and can you help me to remember what prepositions of place were we using? On. 
on, good. Across next from. To, across from, very good. Next to. Next to, excellent. Between. Between. On the corner of. On the corner of, very good job. Any other one? We have another one to say that something is at the back. How? Wh which one is that one? Behind. It is behind. Very good. We have behind, right? On the corner, behind, next to, across from, right? On, that is the most common. And in front of, right? In front of. Remember, when we are using the prepositions, don't eat the letters, okay? You say in front with the T at the end. Next with the T at the end, right? It is very important. Okay. And after this, yesterday we were creating our cities, right? That it's something that we are going to do a little bit later in the second half of the class. In the second half of the class, you are going to talk about your cities, right? So we are going to work a little bit on the practice. Here I have two rooms saved. Aquí guardé dos de los grupos, dos de tres. So <laughs> at least I have two. I have two groups kept. And we were using prepositions of place to also create the cities, right? The school is next to the bank. The church is across from the hospital. And these were the things that we were doing yesterday. In order to give a little bit more on this topic, we are going to talk about popular tourist attractions today. Do we have any popular tourist attraction in El Salvador, people? El Tunco Beach. El Tunco Beach, Beach right? El Tunco Beach, Beach is a very famous uh, and very popular tourist attraction. Another one? The Theater. National Theater. The National Theater, right? The National Theater. Very good. El Tunco the Beach, National. the National Theater. Ruina del Tazumal. The Tazumal ruins, right? In the most beautiful city of El Salvador. Actually, <laughs> Surf City. Surf City. Right now, it's a very popular sport, right? A spot, sorry. A very popular spot in El Salvador, Surf City. So we have El Tunco Beach, we have El Tazumal, we have Surf City. Any other place that is very popular for tourists? La Ruta de las Flores. Okay, the Root of the Flowers, right? And it is curious that I always look for flowers and I never see flowers. <laughs> on the, on the flowers. <laughs> yeah, the places are Planet beautiful, Rendero. right? Planet de Renderos, it's another very popular touristic attraction. Very good. Planet de, de Renderos. De Which one? The zoo Fureza. Fureza, right? Fureza. That, that zoo, it's very popular nowadays, right? It is a beautiful el, el place. El Boquerón. El Boquerón, right? All these uh, places around the volcano, right? That there are a lot of restaurants. Those, those places are very, very popular. So, okay, El Boquerón. All the different beaches that we have, right? We have El Mahawal, we have, a, I don't know, the Cameron, Salinita. Salinitas. We have all these popular places, right? That people love to visit. Do you have any specific place that it's your favorite? Mm. 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 Imagine that I tell you right now, let's go. And we're going to go to your favorite place. Where is it? Don't tell so me the pedo. <laughs> okay, so you can go to Los Planet de Renderos. You can go to eat there. You can go to uh, the all the these places around the volcano. That's another one. You huh? can go. Punta Roca. Punta Roca, okay. You see, Jorge has a specific favorite place. If you say, let's go right now, we go to Punta Roca. Okay. Atami you... Beach. <laughs> to Atami. Okay, hello, good evening. Any other place? Don't tell me to San Andres Ruins because right now it's close. Suchitoto. Suchitoto, okay. Suchitoto, it's a beautiful tourist attraction. Any other one? 
Ataco. Cerro Verde. Ataco, Cerro Verde to the Crystal House, right? That it's a very Casa Cristal. Uh -huh. It's a fantastic place in in Santana, well in this the, the in this area of El Salvador, it's a very popular place. But the Peque Lake that it's turquoise right now. It's very beautiful. It changes the color. So, uh, but the Peque Lake. If you tell me, let's go somewhere right now, I will go to the beach, right? I say, let's go to Surf City. <laughs> Apaneca. To Apaneca, right? Apaneca. And you can go to eat delicious pupusas there. No, oh, to Ilopango Lake. In Ilopango, there are very good cafes. And they are. <laughs> Apulo. <laughs> Do you like Apulo? Well, it's a nice place. I have I have been there for a couple of, of times. Also, Ataco. En, en Ataco, right? And Caluco is very famous for the gallina soup. <laughs> so, so fun. For the hen soup. It's very popular. So, as you can see, in El Salvador, we also have very popular tourist attractions, right? I have here a couple of, of uh, examples on the pictures, right? What are the examples that you can see on the pictures? I see the Pyramid of the Sun. The Pyramid, the, the pyramid of the Sun, good. The Red Square. Mm, Copacabana, Copacabana Beach, the Golden Gate Bridge, the Golden Gate Bridge. Any other one? The Forbidden City and the Parthenon. Where are these places located, people? Do you know? Do you have any idea? No idea? No idea. Okay, let's go and do some Google search. Go ahead, ask your friend Google for one of them. Google it. Where is the Golden Gate Bridge? Go ahead, look for it on the internet and tell me. I will give you some time for you to look for it. Let's go some, some Googling. Ask some Google about it. <laughs> Where are these places located? The Pyramid I, of the Sun uh -huh. is from Mexico. The Pyramid of the Sun is on Mexico, specifically in which city? In which city, Jorge Francisco? En que ciudad? In Tehuatihuacan. Teotihuacan, right? Teotihuacan. Uh -huh. Any other one who has information? Tell me. Uh -huh. Where are the other places? Where is the Golden Gate Bridge? Copacabana Beach. Rio de Janeiro. Copacabana Beach is in Rio de Janeiro, right? In Rio de Janeiro. The Golden Gate Bridge is... Uh, California? It's on California, right? It's on California. Any uh, other one? Red Square is the largest and most famous square in Russia. In Russia, right? In That's Russia. in Russia. The Red Square is in Russia. Any other one? Where is the Forbidden City? Where is the Forbidden City located? <laughs> Google it, find the information. What is the Parthenon? Where is the Parthenon located? I always tell you, you have to be curious. If you are learning English, you have to be curious. Tienen que ser curioso para el Atenas, Grecia. In Greece, right? It's in Greece. The Parthenon is in Greece. Good. And the Forbidden City? Where is it? Coliseo Romano, Roma. 
Okay, it's, it's in it, the, the Coliseum, it's in Rome, very good. What about the Forbidden City? Where is the Forbidden City located? Uh -huh. Chinese. In China, in China. China. Okay, star for you, Estrellita para ti. Very good. <laughs> it's in China, right? So all these places mm -hmm. are around the world, right? And they are famous because of different reasons. And why do you think, why do you think the Pyramid of the Sun is famous? Why do you think the Pyramid of the Sun is famous? This one. Because of the name, because of the structure, because of the history, because of the size. I don't know if it is very big. Why do you think this place is famous? The structure. For the structure, right? For the structure that it has, right? That it's different. Anything else? Do you think that this place is famous because of the history behind? Será famoso por su historia? Yes. Y turismo. Okay, for the tourism that it creates, yes. right? It calls your attention, right? It grabs your attention because you say, hey, wow, what a big thing, right? because of the size, right? What about the Golden Gate Bridge? Why do you think this place is popular? In the movie. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's famous, right? It's famous because of the movies, right? And many people movie. say, I movie want love. <laughs> <laughs> for the movies or for the romantic movies, right? Romantic. Yes. They always say that one person is on one side and the other one on the other side. <laughs> they have to find each other, right? So those places are beautiful because of that. Why do you think Los Planes de Renderos is famous for? Pupusas. Pupusas. For the pupusas, right? It's famous because <laughs> of the pupusas. <laughs> and Pupus because of place. the mm. weather, right? Because of the weather, many people say that it's very fresh. Not really, right? But it's very fresh. In December, it's very famous because of the weather, right? Delicious. Yeah. Allá sacan todos los suéteres del shopping center a pasear. It's a beautiful place to go and use your sweaters. <laughs> All the scarves that you never use in, in the city. <laughs> So it's because of the pupusas and because of the weather. Why do you think, why do you think Surf City is famous for? Surf? Uh-huh, the Surf City. The surf, surf City. city. Uh -huh. Surf City, ¿por qué creen que es famosa? Why do you think it's famous? Por El las tumba. olas perfectas, dicen. For the perfect waves, right? For perfect the perfect waves. waves. Also for, for the food, <laughs> for all the seafood, right? The seafood, the waves, the attractions, right? There is like one of these giant roulette that you can get in, right? Hay una gran rueda de la fortuna en la que se puede subir. So because of the attractions. And that's why these places are popular for. Good. So. I have here a little conversation that we are going to use today. I need two volunteers to help me read it. Volunteers, Wendy Lisette and me. Tatiana, go ahead. Wendy, you are going to be the tourist and Tatiana, you are going to be the woman. Action. Excuse me, ma'am, can ma you help me? How do you get to St. Patricia? Patrick Cathedral? Just walk up uh, Fifth Avenue, Avenue to 15th Street, St. Patrick, 
is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it is right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? It is far from here? It's right behind you just turn around and look up. Okay, very good job. Reactions for your friends, please. Thank you very much. You did a very good job. Very good job on the reading. A specific things. We have ma'am. Ma'am, it's the contraction of madame, right? Lady. It's a very common thing that, well, here in El Salvador, we are very special, right? You say like, Ch -ch -ch senor. <laughs> <laughs> and then mamita <laughs> and you have many other things that we use here right doña señor but the it's the most peculiar thing that we do to call someone's attention and you say like ay yo nunca volteo si me hacen but you are on the street and <laughs> It's the first thing that you do. You look back and you check who's calling you, right? <laughs> to see, <laughs> and to see that is yours. Ma'am, it's the form, the very polite form of madame. And you say, excuse me, ma'am. Ma'am, it's like, excuse me, madame. Can you help me? It's like, eh, perdón o disculpe, señora. Señorita, bella dama, can you help me? <laughs> And it's like, how do I get? How do I get like, como llego? How do I get to Saint Patrick's Cathedral? Saint, right? Saint. It's the the contraction, right? So say Saint Patrick's Cathedral. Just walk up. What is the meaning of this when you say just walk up? Just walk up. What would be the meaning for that one? Camina derecho. Uh -huh. would be, if I say just walk up, how do you say this in Spanish in El Salvador? Vaya ser recto. Right. Vaya ser recto. <laughs> right? <laughs> just, just walk up, right? Siga, siga recto. Fifth Avenue to 50th Street, right? Fifth Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. This is the biggest problem. Tengo a alguien que sea zurdo aquí, ¿no? Alguien que sea zurdo, ¿no? Nadie. I am. Okay, Oscar. Ay, that's a problem for you. <laughs> okay, the right, a la derecha, it's the the hand that you use for writing. Okay, para todos los que son derechos. When you say to the right, acuérdense de la mano con la que escriben, right? The right. En el caso de Oscar es la opuesta. <laughs> so the right. <laughs> It's the one that you don't use for writing, right? Para Oscar es la que no ocupa para escribir. For all the rest, the one that you use for writing. When you say, on the right, on the left. Okay, on the right, on the left. Show me, the ones who have the camera on, show me your right hand. Show me your right hand. Okay, show me your left hand. Left, right, left, right. Okay, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Oh, follow the leader. Ah, okay, so <laughs> right, left. If I say it's on the right, está a tu derecha. It's on the right. Okay, if I say it's on the left, tenés que ver a la izquierda. Porque ahí está. Is it near Rockefeller Center? ¿Está cerca del Rockefeller Center? Yeah, it's right across from. Está justo al cruzarte. It's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? ¿Está lejos de aquí? It's right behind you. ¿Lo tenés justo? Atrás. It's right behind you. Just turn around like the sun, right? Turn around. There you go. Every now and then. Okay, turn around, right? 
you just turn around and look. Ah, it's right here. It's behind me, right? And look up. Date vuelta y mira hacia arriba, right? Oh, yeah, it's there. That's the Empire State Building because he's right there on the street. Si se fijan, lo tiene justo en la espalda. <laughs> Say, like, turn around and look up. It's right here. It's the Empire State Building. So when you give directions, we are not the best on this, okay? Don't ask Salvadorians to give you directions. We are not good on that. I don't know, you say like it's right here. Continue walking like three blocks. Andate como tres cuadras para allá. And you say like, ¿cuántas cuadras pasé allá? You don't know, you don't remember, right? No lo pierden a uno. Definitely. And you say like, búscalo en ways, they say. <laughs> You don't understand the map, and you are like, where is it? Google Maps. Google Maps, right? Put it on Google Maps and then take me there, right? Ir ahí. You say, like, gira a la derecha. You say, like, ¿cuál era la derecha? So you have to be very careful with this. Let's practice this uh, specific part. I am going to take you back here. Me lo voy a llevar al mapa de vuelta. This is one of the most complicated things if you think about it that much. If you don't worry that much about directions, it's going to be easy. Imagine that you are here in the coffee shop. You are in the coffee shop and you want to go to the gas station. You are in the coffee shop and you want to go to the gas station, right? Estamos aquí. Aquí iniciamos nuestro camino. You are on the coffee shop. So you have to go. So you say, go up for two blocks. One and two. And then you turn left or right? Left. Turn left. left. Turn left. Turn left. How many blocks? One block. Turn left for one block. Where is the gas station? Right. Turn it's on right. there. Right. Across yeah. wrong. Okay, so you say, if you go, go up for two blocks, right? One and two blocks. Then turn left for one block, you say, you go here. The gas station is on the corner of on First Avenue. And there you find, it, right? Mm -hmm. You are at the gas station and you want to go to the drugstore. So you are here. Regresamos. <laughs> uh, no, no, ya fin, ya terminamos aquí. Ya estamos en la gasolinera. So you say, go. go. You're not going to go up. You say, go down. Go down. One block. One block. On the and corner. the drugstore is on the corner of second and center. Across from the bookstore. The bookstore, bookstore, right across from the bookstore. And here you go. If you are at the drugstore, you are at the drugstore here, and you oh, want Lord. to go, you want to go to English Corporativo. Okay, you are at the drugstore. Estamos aquí, at the drugstore. And you want to go to English Corporativo, that it's right here. How do you make it? Estamos aquí paradito. Go up or go down? Go, go down. down. Go, go down, down. One, one block. One block. One block. Uh -huh. And then? Turn, turn right. Turn right. <laughs> turn right. How many blocks? One, one block. One. Here you go. One block. Oh, two blocks. Uh, two blocks. Two blocks. English Corporativo is? On the corner on the of corner. first and main. Main. First and main. It is not really difficult. If you see it on the map, it's easy. If you see it in real life, it's not really easy. Do you know San Salvador people? Yes? Conocen San Salvador? Okay. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit, teacher. How do, how do I go to Metro Centro? How, how do I go to Metro Centro, people? I am in the 
in the terminal of Santa Ana. Agarré una cuadra. Se agarran acá y se baja en el estadio. Take an over. Take an over. Very good. Very good. It's like, how do I go? Si yo no sé dar la dirección, pedí un Uber. Right? Ask for an Uber. That's good. But if you are in the terminal, you are in the 49th Avenue, right? Estás en la 49. So you say, go down the 49th Street up to eh, Los Héroes. And after the stadium, two blocks, and you go to Metro Centro. It's a little bit easy like that. If you are in Metro Centro, if you are in Metro Centro and you want to go to Intercontinental Hotel, what do you do? Across from. Uh -huh. So you say it's across from Metro Centro. So what do I do? <laughs> yeah. Take the foot walk. Okay. Foot the foot walk. bridge. I am going to send it on the chat. Eso se llama foot bridge. Kaiser, tranquilo. <laughs> <laughs> the foot bridge. The foot bridge is La Pasarela. And you have heard about the catwalk. Ya han escuchado acerca del catwalk. Es una pasarela de moda. That you go like, da, 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 da. that's the catwalk. Okay, La Pasarela. Pero La Pasarela de moda. La Pasarela de los carros. It's foot bridge. Los diseñadores. Exactly. When you go with the latest fashion things, and you are like walking in a very strange way. So that's the catwalk. Excellent. So giving directions, it is very similar to that, right? That you say like go up, go down, three blocks, and that's it. If you are in your house, people, and you want to go to the nearest pupusa's place. How many blocks do you have to walk? ¿Cuántas cuadras tienen que caminar para llegar a su pupusería más cercana? Two blocks. Two blocks. What about one, the one block, right? It's in my house, you say. Three blocks. Three blocks. About five blocks. Five blocks, okay. So it's a little far, right? Yeah, como digo aquí a la par. <laughs> ah, very good thing. Where right? you say, how do you say a la par? Next to. Next to, right? It next is. <laughs> so, okay. So you say, it is next to my house, right? It is next to my house. We are neighbors. We are neighbors. What is the there meaning of are, neighbors? There are two in the passage. Uh, um, in <laughs> okay. <laughs> there are two. There are two. Okay. So how do you say media cuadra? Half block. Half a block. Half a block. That is media cuadra. Half a block. And a passage. Passage is a pasaje, right? Passage. The passage. El pasaje. Okay, so that's the way you give directions, right? You say like, go up, go down, right? Turn left, turn right. And I am going to show it to you. Por aquí lo tengo para que ustedes lo vean. I have it right here. And it says, the different forms that you can use, walk up, go up, right? You can use those two. Turn left, turn right, right? Turn left, turn right. Walk down, go down. It's on the right, it's on the left, okay? And here you have the different forms that you can use at the moment of giving directions. Si quieres que siga hacia adelante, ¿cómo le decimos? Sigue adelante. Go up. Walk, walk up, up, right? Walk up walk or go up. up. If we want to say, uh, cruce a la derecha. Turn around. Turn, Turn right. right. 
Eh, claro. <ríe> en buen salvadoreño, baje para abajo. <ríe> Váyase hacia sí. abajo. Sí, sí, baje para abajo. Walk down. Subo right? Subo para down. arriba. Subo para arriba. Okay, walk down. If you want to say a la izquierda. Turn left. Turn left. Right. Turn left. Está a la derecha. How do you say that in English? Está a la derecha. Is on the left. It's on the left. No, it's on right. A la derecha. It's on the right. It's on the right. It's on the right, right? Está a la izquierda. It's on the left. It's on the left, right? It's on the left. Very good job. So here uh, we have, for example, these three places, right? For the Empire State Building to the New York Public Library, how many blocks do you need to walk? From the Empire State Building to the New York Public Library, how many Number. walks? How many blocks? Two. Seven. seven, right? You need to walk <laughs> seven blocks, right? Seven blocks. And from the mm. public library to the Rockefeller Plaza, ¿De dónde a dónde era, perdón? From the public library seven. to the Rockefeller Plaza, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight blocks. Right? Eight blocks. Seven, eight, because you have the last one here, right? Eight, eight blocks. So if you want to go to Park Avenue from the Rockefeller Plaza, sorry. Mi vecino nunca había tenido moto. Okay, so you have to go here. If you are in the Rockefeller Plaza, you have to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to the Grand Central Terminal, right? And Park Avenue. So this is a block, right? Cada una de estas es una cuadra, right? It's one block. So if you are here, for example, si ya caminaron del Empire State Building, a la New York Public Library, ¿a dónde tienen que cruzar para encontrarla? Turn left or turn right? Um, left. Turn um, left, right? If you want yeah. to go to Park Avenue. Park Avenue. Turn left or right? Right. Turn right, right. Turn right. 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 If you are here. And you want to go to the St. Patrick's Cathedral? Do you have to turn or do you have to walk up? Walk. Walk up, up right? Because you don't have to turn. If you turn right, what are you going to go? Si estamos aquí and you turn right, where are you going to go? Okay. Nowhere, right? Ahí. Aquí nadie, estamos en la calle 50. If you turn left, you go to the Rockefeller Plaza. And there you go. So I am going to send you a little exercise on this tomorrow because we are going to use it. But and we are going to assign this homework. I advanced this one a lot for you. Esta ya se las avanzó un montón, the verbs in the past. Right, you are going to do that one tomorrow. We are going to start doing that tomorrow. But right now, I am going to go back to the series, okay? Here, before we finish the class, as I said, I am going to go back to the series. First of all, I am going to call the attendance, okay? Les paso lista y de ahí vamos a trabajar en las ciudades y les vamos a presentar, okay? So, I let me call the attendance. Le voy a pasar lista primero. Chicos, eh, comercial, antes de la lista, recordemos enviar nuestra documentación para el próximo módulo. Es bien importante para que ustedes se puedan inscribir y que puedan guardar sus cupos. ¿okay? Es bien importante. Si ya iniciaron esta travesía de aprendizaje, no se detengan. No se detengan. Aprovechen esta oportunidad. Aprovechen, chicos. Así que. Mañana, porfa, si usted no la ha enviado, es más, si la tiene ahí lista, mándela ahorita. Y si no, pues mañana a primera hora envíela para que reserve su cupo y no se quede fuera, ¿ok? Ana Isela. Present, teacher. Thank you. Ana Ruth. Present. 
Brian Francisco. Present. Carlos Ernesto. Carlos Ernesto Flores Bonilla. No, it's not here. Cintia Marisol. Present. David Alejandro. Here. Diana Beatriz. Present, teacher. Thank you. David Rafael. Present. Thank you. Eh, Diego Rodrigo. Dieguito, ahí está, lo veo, lo veo. Eh, Eric Javier. Present. Thank you. Fatima Ibin. Fatimita. Oh, no veo Fatimita. Ok. And Jorge Francisco. Present teacher. Josué Abel. Present teacher. Juana Margarita. Present teacher. Catherine Yamilet. Present teacher. Laura Lisset. Present teacher. Lorena Araceli. Present teacher. Eh, Mirna Yasmín. Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar Otoniel. Present. Reina Jael. Present. Roberto Carlos. Present. Sandra Beatriz. Present. En Sebastián Guadalupe. Present. Tatiana Abigail. Sorry, me faltó. Present. Pulsula Adriana. Adriana Burgos. En Wendy Lisset. Here. Thank you. Adrianita. No veo la Adrianita. Wendy Lisset. Okay. So, there you go. I am missing only Fatima Ibin, Adriana, and Carlos Ernesto. Well, let's go and work. I am going to send you to work with your groups. And we are going to start like reviewing a little bit of what we did yesterday. So lo vamos a afinar un poquito lo que hicimos ayer para que lo puedan presentar. Okay. I have here the first group. And I am going to make it right now. I am going to make this group here with, hey, have it, David, Diana, Jorge, Josue, Juana Margarita, and Guadalupe. Okay, group number two, Ana Isela, Brian Francisco, Cynthia, Diego, and Oscar. And group number three, Ana Ruth, David Alejandro, Roberto, Sandra, and Wendy. Hey, I have them here. Okay, go to your group, practice a little bit and finish the details of yesterday and we're going to present. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I mean, voy ahorita. Laurita, ah, tú no estuviste ayer, ver, ahorita te asigno. Mirna, ¿con quién estabas trabajando ayer? Con Oscar. Oscarito, veamos. Y este... Oscar Otoniel, Isela. Sí. Ok. Uh -huh. There you go. Lore, ¿con quién estabas trabajando ayer? There you go, Lorena and Roberto Carlos. Accept my invitations, please. Robert and Lorena. Accept my invitations, please. Chicos, uh, practiquemos lo que empezamos ayer para que podamos presentar, okay? Practice about your city and the different places on it because we are going to present in a couple of minutes.
Lore, le digo mi invitación para los grupos. Igual a Robert. Robert, there you go. Okay, all of them are in the different groups. I'm going to give them a couple of minutes for them to work and they can have the chance to present. Let's go and see how they are doing. One short, short, two short. Four. There are four supermarkets. And George, how many? Yes, there is a shop. Yes, shop. Church. Ah, there is a church. If you say there is a church, there it's is. only one. There is a shop. There is. Miss correct. If I say there is a church. Yes, you say there is a church because there is only one. There a shop. Only one church. Una. There is solo one at the end. Because if you say that there are like three or four, yes, that changes, right? If you say there are four churches, yes. But if you say there is a church, it's only one. Thank you. There are two swimming pools. There are two swimming pools. Okay, in that case, when you say there are a two, it's not possible. Porque un, dos. Ahí hay un, dos piscinas. It's not possible, right? There are two, there are two. swimming pools, exactly like that. Hello? Hello, teacher. What about your city? Did you finish with the city? Almost. Almost, almost, good. I am going to go and check the other ones. Okay, thanks. Thanks. Hello. Empecemos uno por uno a, a, a leerlo. Vaya. Ajá, vamos. Empiezo ya. Ajá, sí. Okay. Pupusa City. In our city, there are six bakeries, there are two supermarkets, there are the there are three shops, there is a bar, there is a funeral parlor, there is a school, there is a basketball court, there is a soccer fire, there is a gas station, there is a street car wash, there is a police station. There are many pupusas places. Okay, there are many pupusas places. A soccer field. Soccer, soccer field. field. Okay, soccer when you field. say there are three bakeries, so you have to make it plural, right? There are five car washes. Bakeries. bakeries, okay. Yes, bakeries. Car washes. Car washes. Ah, lleva S. Ajá, porque termina en CH, se le agrega S. There are three hotels, for example, and then you add the S, okay? So that's very important. And let me see, when you use the plural, when you say there are three, four, five, okay? You don't say there are a, be careful, oh, check that you don't have it, okay? Si ocupamos there are, no decimos there are a, 
porque ya después de eso vamos a tener un número. There are three, um, four, five churches, right? Pero si solo es uno es there is a. There is a, exactly like that. If it is only one, there is a, and that's there is a. Okay. Okay, good, very good. I'm going to check the other ones. Keep practicing, please. I'm going to check the last one. Mm. In my city, there are very picturesque mm -hmm. streets and heavy traffic. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, definitely. It's beautiful but chaotic, right? Definitely. It's a beautiful but chaotic place. What other places are there in your city? What is the name of your city, first of all? What is the name of your city? ¿Cómo se llama su ciudad? The flowers. flowers. The flower city, okay? And yes. what other places are there in your city? Uh, in our city, the flowers, we can find beautiful and friendly people. By the way, we can delicious pupusas and has a nice view. There are three schools, there are two banks, there is a bakery and coffee shop. Also, there are four supermarkets. Okay, good, very good. I am going to take this one and I am going to help you with it. And it says, in our city, coma, the flowers city, the flowers city, we can find beautiful and friendly people. By the way, we can eat. We can eat delicious pupusas and it has a nice view. There are three schools, there are two banks, there is a bakery and a coffee shop. And comma, there are four supermarkets. And here you say, and also there are four supermarkets. Supermarket, it's only one word, okay? There you go. This is the correction. So please copy it. Copienla porque una vez que nos salgamos del chat se borra. So please okay. copy, copy the correction. And we are going to go back to the rooms. Okay, vamos a volver a la sala de grupos pequeños. Okay, let's go back. Welcome back. All your friends are coming in a second. I need you to choose one representative from your group. Choose one representative of your group. Choose a representative. Okay, from group number one, I have David, Rafael, Diana, Jorge, Josue, Juana Margarita, and Sebastiana Guadalupe. Who is the volunteer? Vaya, yo voy a empezar porque tengo algunos que son muy pocos, pero yo sé que otros compañeros pueden tener más, entonces que se vayan agregando. Go ahead. Our city is San Salvador. There are two gas stations. There are 25 banks. There is a car wash. Mm -hmm. Si alguien más tiene, puede, puede seguir. Este, voy a leer la, la, lo final que logramos entre todos. Uh -huh. Que ahí lo mandé al chat. Sería, our city is San Salvador. In our city, there are two gas stations, 25 banks. 20 schools, six drugstores, four supermarkets, two swimming pools, and five hospitals. There is a one car wash, one candy store, and one church. Okay, very good job. When you say there is a one car wash, no, if you say one, eh, yeah, tenemos ahí. there is one car wash. Porque si no, si decimos a one car wash, it's un, 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 un car wash. 
So very good city, 25 banks. You are a millionaire there. Oh my God, a lot of money on that city. Very good job. Thank you. And send reactions to the San Salvador city. Very good job. Nice job. Let's listen to the next one. We have Anaisela, Brian Francisco, Cynthia, Diego, Laura, Mirna, and Oscar. Who is going to talk? ¿Quién los representa? Group number two. Me. Okay, Oscar, go ahead. Our city is Quesadilla City. Quesadilla. <laughs> yeah. In Quesadilla City, there is a bank. There are two schools. There are three supermarkets. There is a police station. There are two church. And the most important is that in each corner of our city, you can find a bakery and buy Yay. delicious quesadillas. <laughs> delicious quesadillas in Quesadilla City. Very beautiful. Yep. Thank you very much. For Oscar and for group number two, reactions for your friends. Very nice Thank job. You. Excellent. You can find quesadillas in Quesadilla City. Excellent job. Group number three, Ana Ruth, David, Roberto, Sandra, and Wendy. Who is going to talk? Ana Ruth, vamos. Our city is called Pupusa City. In our city, there are six bakeries. There are two supermarkets. There are three churches. There is a bar. There is a funeral parlor. There is a basketball court and the soccer field. There are many pupusas plays. There is a gas station. There are three car washes and there is a police station. Excellent job. In Pupusa City, for sure, there are many pupusas places, right? It's the most important thing. Okay. <laughs> I don't have a pupusa, but I have the closest thing. Esto es lo más cercano que tenemos una pupusa en los emojis. <laughs> pupusa City. Thank you very much for the description. I like the cookies. <laughs> very, yeah, the cookies. No tenemos pupusas en los emojis. I am very sorry, right? Yeah, maybe some chocolate for the pupusas. <laughs> Excellent job. And let's go with the last group, right? We have group number four, Eric Javier, Catherine, Reina, and Tatiana. Who is going to talk? Tatiana. Tatiana, okay. Go, Tati. Okay. In, in our city, the flower city, we can find beautiful and friendly people. By the way, we can eat delicious pupusas and it has a nice view. There are free school, there are two banks, there is a bakery and a coffee shop, and also there are four supermarkets and there are um, two hospitals. There are two hospitals, right? Yeah. Yo tengo otro ejemplo. No uh -huh. si puedo. Go, Catherine, go, go. In my city, we can feel delicious pupusas, very friendly people, and some are not. In Turex Street, there are two schools and one college, and very heavy traffic and two gas, gas stations. Okay, very heavy traffic in the flower city. Beautiful flower city. Excellent job picturesque streets that's very beautiful a very beautiful word like a picturesque it's very colorful right and heavy traffic el salvador right san salvador and all the places now oye el tráfico no es exclusivo de san salvador there is traffic everywhere so excellent job the one you did describing your cities my dear students hard for everybody you did a very beautiful job so with this, we are going to close the section of the city and giving directions, okay? Remember that for tomorrow, we are going to check on the platform. We need to check on the platform that all your other sections are complete. Que vamos a revisar el día de mañana que todas las otras secciones ya vayan avanzadas. At least section number four, okay? Four and five. Si ya pueden avanzar la cuatro y la cinco, that would be perfect. Okay. I know it's past tense. I know it's complicated, but we're going to do it tomorrow. Catherine? 
Sí, a question. Eh, no sé si mañana termina la semana cuatro, creo yo. No, tomorrow we are going to finish week number three. Ok, terminamos la semana tres de clases. Uh -huh. Ok, mañana terminen ustedes su semana cuatro de eh, plataforma. Mañana trabajaremos uh -huh. semana cuatro y cinco. La vamos a trabajar juntas para que ustedes ya la tengan lista. Ok, así ya solo okay. les quedan los final exams. Que si ya terminan la sección cuatro y cinco, ya los final exams son mucho más fáciles. Ok, así que mañana vamos a trabajar eso y mañana empezamos a trabajar con los verbos in past. Past, present, and future. These are the three tenses that we have, right? The past is the one that we are going to work. El presente ya lo trabajamos, right? And we studied a little bit about the future. But we are going to work on the past, okay? Cuando vimos los, las celebraciones, las fechas especiales y todo, ahí vieron el futuro. I am going to, okay? You studied the future there. But in here, we are going to say about what happened. Okay, pasó hace un minuto, ya es pasado. So, we are going to study this. You have a conversation on your manual and you have the different verbs that I have sent you. Please, check them. Les he enviado los documentos de los verbos en pasado, se los voy a volver a reenviar si no los tienen. So, you can check. We are going to use it tomorrow, okay? So, my dear students, that will be everything for today. I hope that you have enjoyed the class and I am going to see you tomorrow for your next class, okay? Have Thank a beautiful you. night. Bye. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Bye. teacher. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, Juanita. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Bye. See you tomorrow.